here from North Wind Perennial Farm, and I've been uh, planting now since 1978. So how did I start planting and putting perennials in the ground? In fact, I've grown over 18 million perennials since that time. I started with a tile spade, and I thought once I found a tile spade, nothing could be better than putting plants in the ground using a tile spade, because it fit the one gallon container and a quart container so well. And then it came along into the mid 90s, late 90s, we started using a drill around 99, the year 2000. We got a large drill with about a three and a half inch bit. And we just started drilling our plants right into the ground. And that was so much more efficient. We still used a tile spade for gardening purposes, but we used the drill to get the plants in the ground much quicker and much more efficiently. And we had beautiful backfill to put in. Well, uh, Ron came and talked to me about the power bits. And we've been using power bits I don't know, for 10 years at least, it's the best bit we could find for our drill. And he said, Roy, there's a electric drill that could really work well for you. And I said, and mentally, nah, that's not gonna work. The battery only lasts an hour. We're drilling all day. We're putting three to 4,000 holes in a day, plants. So I said, well, the battery's gonna die. So he, they sent me this DeWalt drill and I said, I'm gonna give it a try and I'm gonna be fair about everything. I'm gonna tell you what's good and I'm gonna tell you what we don't like. So we set it up. This is Bob, he's one of our top gardeners, uh, along with all our other top gardeners at Northwind. <laughs> we have a, a whole group of top gardeners. So Bob, why don't you tell them how your first experience with this drill was? Okay, so within the last couple of weeks, I think it is, I've used it twice on two planting jobs. And for myself, I like the size and the lightness of the, the drill and the, when I say size too, it's lower. Some of our gas ones are higher up, so it's harder for a person my size to, to handle it. Plus there's a lot of exhaust that you're dealing with here. But this one was really easy. The auger, we were planting gallons and quarts, and this auger worked good for both of them there, where I could just sort of twist in the hole and make the hole bigger if I wanted to for a gallon size. And after a while, I, I was able to develop a technique on um, using it better and more efficiently and it's sort of hard to describe so it kind of grew there. on you yeah it did a way, and, and it's, it just, it's a way of being it kind of grows on you how to use it and mm -hmm. other people might use it differently because that's the nature of other people right we're all unique unto ourselves yeah and then when i asked bob how's the drill working his grin was like a <laughs> jack-o-lantern about how much better this was lightweight easier to use efficient yeah but best of all the battery lasted five and a half to six hours we got almost how many, two jobs done? I two think. jobs, yeah. I don't think we charged it for the second one all the way, so right. it didn't last through that one, but we certainly used it a long time on the first job, and it, it, it was powerful. I was just really amazed at how strong the auger would go down, and it sort of had a different way it carried up the dirt that I thought was a little bit more efficient and easier to work with there, so I was, uh, I was pretty sold on it there. And if Bob sold on it, since he's doing the drilling, <laughs> I'm sold on it because I, I want to keep the guys happy moving forward. And I want to keep everybody healthy too. Mm -hmm. So that's it. This is a great tool. Uh, we kind of are going to stick with this. Then we'll have our other drills for backup because in mm -hmm. life you never know, right? <laughs> you never know. If you want more information on power plant or augers, you can give us a call. Uh, you don't even have to hit press one to get to a human. Uh, the number is 217. 379-2614. Uh, you can also go to our website, powerplanter.com, and uh, happy to help. Uh, and if there's anything that we can't ask, and you happen to be in Roy's neck of the woods, just swing by uh, Northwind's Perennial Farm and ask Roy. Yeah, absolutely. We'll fill you in. All right, thanks again. Okay, see you later. Thanks. thanks. See ya.